Hi, okay, so today is day 26, and we're gonna do something today that's a little different. Um, instead of taking an action like going out and doing something like we've been doing, we're going to take an action on deciding something. So indecision is really bad for your health. It causes a lot of stress, and it causes your mind to go back and forth. Like if you're, if you waffle on things, basically you're like, Oh, you know, I want to do this, but then I want to do this, but then I want to do this, but then I want to do this. What's the right thing to do? This or this? The stress of not deciding sometimes is worse than the actual decision, especially when we feel like a lot is riding on it. You know, when it's to do with our health um, and there's a lot riding on it. We feel stuck in indecision and ultimately fear. And fear hurts the body. Fear helps us not choose and go forward. So there's probably a lot of things um, that you're indecisive about and that you're going back and forth on and that you're changing your mind a lot on. And I'm not saying nobody can ever change their mind, especially when it's something so important like your health. But taking living without fear means making decisions and sticking to them for at least a period of time without re-going over every you know week every couple days every whatever revisiting that decision um, and not having peace with it okay so I like to say at least 30 days I'd like to see a 90 day decision stick learn what you need to learn from it and then make a better decision if you need to change it so today I challenge you to make a decision on something to do with your health that you've been waffling on so let me give you a couple of big examples your diet do you go back and forth between a whole bunch of different diets and not know because there's so many different extremes out there, there's so many different opinions and you get caught up in all of them and freak out and say, I don't know what to choose. I, I don't know what to choose. And you're immobilized by fear. And so you keep switching it up and you're not learning anything and you're not giving your body time to adjust and then learn what it needs to learn intuitively so that you can make a better decision. So diet is a big one. So what I'd like you to do is decide on a diet. Close your eyes, take 60 seconds, not, you know, minutes and hours and pros and cons lists and just, you've been thinking about this for a long time. So just close your eyes, take a minute or two and think about what feels best to you. What diet feels best to you? What, what thing have you been wanting to try, but you're scared or you really think it might help, but you're you're afraid and you have all these differing points of view and you can't stick to it and what if, what if, what if, what if, right? What if it hurts you? What if this, what if that? You know enough at this point to make a decision and then to be at peace with it. So today I want to challenge you to make a decision about your diet, um, choose it and put a time limit on it and say, I will not revisit this decision for 30, 60 or 90 days, pick one of those. Preferably 90 days, but if you need to revisit in 30, that's better than revisiting it every day, every other day. So, and then you can think about it only then. And you're thinking, but what if something goes wrong? What if it's really not working? Then do it and let your body tell you that at the end of the 30 days because you really don't know. There's so many other factors going on that you really don't have a good handle on what's happening for at least 30 days. So pick whatever feels right to you and choose that. Or if there's a certain protocol or a certain thing that you want to do or supplement or something that you're really intrigued by and you really want to choose, but you keep going back and forth, you're not sure, you're stuck with indecision, you're going round on the hamster wheel, I want you to choose it. Okay, so choose your protocol or choose not to do a protocol for 30 days. That's an option too. Just choose to take a break. If you've had a neg nagging inkling that you need to um, get rid of all the Wi-Fi in your home or put your phone away for 30 days or um, go to bed every single night at a you know 8.30, whatever it is, something that, that you've been wanting to do but and that you kind of know you should do or at least you should try and um, you keep going round on it oh but I can't because of this and you have excuses and and you get caught up in drama choose it will be a peaceful for you 
to say, I'm going to do this for 30 days and I'm not going to rethink about it. And then move on to something else to think about. Because really the indecision is so hard and it's one of the things that we have to get better at to improve chronic illness is to not be stuck and circulating over and over and second guessing ourselves. We have to learn to trust our intuition, trust our voices, be patient with our body, see what's going to happen, then really re-evaluate it at the end of 30 or 60 days and see what yourself has to say about that. Not the internet, not some... Um, expert but yourself how did you feel about how that went did you improve did you get worse simple questions so I hope that makes sense and I hope that you will make a decision today about something health related that's big and that is always sort of um, you can't stick to that's always sort of playing in the back of your mind so good luck with this challenge